this video is for task one for 12.3. So we're talking about trapezoids and their area. So remember trapezoids have those two parallel bases and it can be any way. So the parallel can go this way, it can go up and down. So the height of our trapezoid is always going to connect our bases. So if I have base and base that are parallel, the height is the connector straight up and down between those. So how can we find that area of a trapezoid? So notice that two copies of the same trapezoid, right? When I flip one, form together to fit a parallel. I just read that all backwards fit together to form a parallelogram. How does the area of trapezoids compare to the area of a parallelogram? So, right, a parallelogram is going to be base times height. So to find a trapezoid, right, I would have to cut that back in half. So a trapezoid is half of a parallelogram, or you need two, two, two times the trapezoid to make a parallelogram. So how do they compare, right? A trapezoid, cut it in half, cut the parallelogram in half. That's how they are going to compare. So how does the height of the trapezoid compare? So if I look at, here is just my trapezoid. If I just look at this trapezoid right here, and then the whole entire parallelogram Oop, I thought I switched colors and I didn't, is here and I can notice that they have the same height because they're the same shape. It's just double to make that parallelogram. So their height is actually the same. So how can we find the length of these bases? So if you have already made your parallelograms, right, we noticed that we took this base one and when we flipped it, it came down here. Now this whole entire thing became the base. So I need to put base two and base one together to make this entire base. So the length of the base of the parallelogram is the, so when we add things together, that is called the answer to an addition problem is the sum. So we need to do the sum of the bases of the trapezoid. So I take base one, here was base one. I add on base two. And again, I can do base two plus base one commutative property, I'll get the same answer. So when I add those bases, that gives me the entire um, base of the parallelogram. So now how can we use the area formula for our parallelogram? So to get this base right, we need to find the base first. So to find this entire base, we had to add our two bases together. So I'm going to take base one and I'm going to add on base two. So that gives me my bases. And I've got to put parentheses around that because I want to do that first. I want to group that together. Then now, right, see all of this is B. And then we're going to times it by the height. But that gives us a parallelogram. So then, right, we want to cut it in half. So we take base one we add on base two, and then we cut it in half. So another way we can write that is one half of the height times by base one plus base two. So remember multiplying by a half is the same thing as dividing by two. So if I have the number eight, right, and I cut it in half, that equals four. If I want to take half of eight, I'm going to end up with eight over two. Eight divided by two is four. So either way, I'm ending up dividing by two. So I will usually just write it like this since I have to divide by two anyways. I usually just write divide by two. So that is the 
area to find the formula to find the area of a trapezoid. Put your bases together, because right, we're just really flipping this one. Let's make one big parallelogram. So base and base, make one big base, times it by the height, but then we have to cut it back in half to get back to our trapezoid.